pace and through time, trying to get the answers, working with my teammates. It's the best thing, the best part. Playing against group. Yes, it does. It's very interesting. It makes everybody think about the questions, especially when they're difficult. Because normally when my class give me work and books to read, I normally bring it home and put it down. But playing this game, it makes me want to read more. Because it encourages you to read more, and as you read more, you learn more vocabulary. Well, playing this game, it actually encourages you to do more and try your best. It inspires me to read more. The whole process is to make someone think instead of thinking they were going to get away with it easily. I've seen Cranium Core, first of all, being used in an American government, senior American government classroom seeing seniors totally engaged in, in a book that they were reading. And the Cranium Core gives them not only the competition that motivates our students, but um, they can work as teams so your lower readers can be assisted by your higher level readers and they're working in teams competing against each other. And, and every single member in the classroom was totally engaged in, in trying to get the right answer, looking for the answer, and of course um, they had to have read the passages on which the questions were being asked in order to, in order to um, win the competition. Every teacher knows that the best way to get a kid to learn is through games, when they don't realize they're learning at all. Um, now, not only do you have to have the knowledge going into Cranium Core, but you have to prove what you're answering. CTs, ACTs, FCAT, Crane, uh, Common Core, all of that is based off of higher order questions, textual evidence. In order to get their point, at least the way we play it, you have to be able to explain your answer. My students love Cranium Core. Cranium Core is a great tool for the students, especially here at Blade Central. It gives the students the opportunity to use different modalities. Um, teachers have the opportunity to have students generate questions. Um, teachers can also generate questions, and it provides a fun activity for students to assist with learning. Um, I've had the opportunity to sit in the media center while it was going on, and I was very fascinated at the level of our students and their abilities to answer questions that sometimes are difficult for them on paper and pencil and the, um, with the use of the technology. So, about, so I decided to use Cranium Core as a method to review as we were reading Hamlet. Um, while we were reading it, the kids would write some of their own questions, they got excited about it, they would debate over whether or not a question was high level or low level, if it was just simple recall, and they oh that's too easy, and they'd throw it out. Um, anything that can get this level of engagement from your students on a text that's as difficult as, as Hamlet can be um, is an amazing tool and worth looking at in any discipline, not just English, but again, if it can get a kid interested in Shakespeare, it can get them interested in just about anything.